Let's talk about the current loop as a magnetic dipole. Ampere found that the distribution of magnetic lines of force around a finite current carrying solenoid is similar to that produced by a bar magnet. This is evident from the fact that a compass needle when moved around these two bodies show some deflection after noting the close resemblance between these two. So, Ampere demonstrated that a simple current loop behaves like a bar magnet and put forward that all the magnetic phenomena is due to the circulating electrical current. This is called Ampere's hypothesis. The magnetic induction at a point along the axis of a circular coil carrying current is given by magnetic induction B is equal to mu naught into n into i into a square divided by 2 into a square plus x square power 3 by 2. The direction of this magnetic field is along the axis and is given by the Fleming's right hand rule. For points which are far away from the center of the coil, x is greater than a, it's really greater than a, a square is really small and it is neglected. Hence for such points, b is equal to mu naught into n into i into a square divided by 2 into x cube. If you consider a circular loop, n equal to 0 or n equal to 1, its area is given by a equal to pi into a square, we will be getting b is equal to mu naught into i into a divided by 2 into pi into x cube. The magnetic induction at a point Along the axial line of a short bar magnet is given by B is equal to nu naught by 4 pi into 2m into x cube. That's nothing but telling this one you will be getting mu naught by 2 pi into m into x cube. So striking your 2 here. Comparing the equation 1 and 2 we will be finding that m is equal to i into a. The magnetic moment of a current loop is defined as the product of the current and the loop area. Its direction is perpendicular to the plane of the paper. 